Good day, my friends. Today, we're gonna to be comparing the new Samsung S24 Ultra against the 15 Pro Max. Now, I'm excited about this one. We're gonna be looking at all the Pro settings, RAW, ProRes, Log, both photo and video, and we're gonna jump into some of the basic settings, but in this test, I think we cover it all. I wanna thank Sahara for having me once again for another tech review video. If you haven't had a chance, go back on our channel and check out some of our other reviews. But for today, let's get started, and do make sure to like and subscribe because we have a lot of content coming soon. All right, here we are in the studio with some raw images taken from both primary cameras. Okay, here we have the S24 Ultra. Now moving over to the 15 Pro Max. I think both cameras look comparable here. Now here we are with another side-by-side -side, S24 Ultra there on the left. Now for the next few images, I really want to capture a wide range of color. Let's look at these. Very comparable. Now here we have the S24 Ultra. Moving once again over to the 15 Pro Max. Now let's move over to portrait mode. Here's the 15 Pro Max. The skin tones look great there. Moving over here to the S24 Ultra. Here we're still in portrait mode, S24 Ultra. 15 Pro Max. Uh, 15 Pro Max there on the right seems a little warmer, possibly a little more detail. These next few photos are moving over to macro mode. And it does seem there the S24 Ultra on the left is a little more saturated. But here we can see the 15 Pro Max in macro mode might be a little sharper there on the right. Now one thing I found interesting in testing is the S24 Ultra in macro mode does seem to have a shallower depth of field, so the background is a little more blurred out. Between these two shots here, you can see that on the left side. Now here I just wanted to point out briefly that it seems like the whites are more natural and more true on the 15 Pro Max. Okay friends, now we're going to transition over to some landscapes. Let's get started on those. Here we have the S24 Ultra, 50 megapixel. And now moving over to the 15 Pro Max, 48 megapixel there. Now back over to the S24 Ultra, handling colors really nicely there. 15 Pro Max here from the other angle. Now here we have the S24 Ultra, raw image. Now I did try to recover those highlights in Photoshop, I wasn't able to do so. Moving over to the 15 Pro Max, I did highlight. It was able to hold on to those clouds in the blue a little bit better there. Now here we're moving back over to portrait mode, S24 Ultra, rendering really nice here. And now moving over to the 15 Pro Max, a little warmer in color. Now here I switched over to 200 megapixel on the S24 Ultra. It performed really well, both in the dynamic range and there's a lot of detail there. Really impressive. And here's a photo from that same angle, 48 megapixel there on the 15 Pro Max. Now moving over to some photos in the snow. I did find that the S24 Ultra did struggle a little with the auto HDR and sometimes those white channels, they just weren't pulling a true white. And here's the 15 Pro Max. Here's a wide angle S24 Ultra. And over here to the 15 Pro Max, you can see the whites are a little bit more true to life. Now here in portrait mode, I think the S24 Ultra is rendering this photo a little bit better with that background blur. Moving over to the five times optical zoom, 15 Pro Max does well, especially in sharpness. Now we're gonna to start to transition into images with more color and a little bit of blue sky just to see how both these cameras are doing. Here's the S24 Ultra and the 15 Pro Max, both those images in RAW. Now I'm gonna move over to the ultra wide lens and both cameras did well. There's the 15 Pro Max. 
Now for these next tests, I'm really excited because I'm going to move over to some images that should give us a great idea of really high detail and almost all the images here are with 200 megapixel on the S24 Ultra. There we have the S24 Ultra, 200 megapixel. And moving over now to the 15 Pro Max. Now looking at the five times optical zoom. It does seem the 15 Pro Max is a little warmer and possibly a little sharper. But what I found interesting is that when we use the 10 times optical zoom, the S24 Ultra definitely outperforms the 15 Pro Max. Now for the 15 Pro Max, I took the five times optical zoom and I cropped in to match that 10 times optical. But friends, we can see that the S24 Ultra, if you're needing a camera that has zoom, it does outperform the 15 Pro Max. Now here, side by side, I'm actually in 24 megapixel there on the 15 Pro Max. It does seem to have more color though. We can see we don't get as quite as much crop there with the 24 megapixel, but the colors are really nice there on the 15 Pro Max. Now here, side by side, both cameras in RAW, it does seem like the S24 Ultra has a little more dynamic range in the shadows there. Now we're gonna crop in five times optical zoom. Now let's move back over to portrait mode. We can see that the 15 Pro Max there on the right, the blues are a little more teal. Now here's another shot portrait mode. I am gonna highlight her shoes. Overall, it seems like the 15 Pro Max was able to hold those highlights a little bit better. Now, as we finish our testing and photos, I really want to highlight the red, blue, and green channels. Here's the S24 Ultra. We have red, blue, and green to really see how the color is doing. And there's the 15 Pro Max. Now, here's that same image. 15 Pro Max actually cropped in 400%. And here I cropped in as well, but I used the 200 megapixel mode on the S24 Ultra. And we can see if we crop in, that 200 megapixel does make a difference. And here's that 10 times optical zoom by that S24 Ultra. It's really impressive. I mean, it's tack sharp there. Here we have the S24 Ultra, primary camera, and moving over there to the 15 Pro Max. Now here I'm gonna highlight those clouds real quick because in auto HDR, it seems like those clouds look more gray and they were not. The S24 Ultra, it's a great camera and that HDR does well, but I did find that sometimes it had trouble. And with the 15 Pro Max, I never ran into that. Overall, both these cameras are so comparable. Now, before we move over to the video, I wanna share a brief message from Sahara, but make sure to stay tuned because we have a lot coming. If you are upgrading your phone, it means your old case won't fit anymore. But here's the good news. Sahara offers a wide range of cases and they're giving you an exclusive 20% discount with code YTSahara20 at saharacase.com. Sahara also provides camera and screen protectors along with other accessories, making them a practical choice for safeguarding your mobile devices. They're a fantastic family owned and operated US business that truly cares about their customers. Okay, my friends, now on to video. Let's get started. Here we have the 15 Pro Max. Now switching over to the S24 Ultra. Moving back here to the 15 Pro Max. S24 Ultra. And we're gonna finish here with the 15 Pro Max. Now for these next few tests, let's move over to cinematic mode. I think overall the 15 Pro Max does a little bit better here. And there's the S24 Ultra. And the 15 Pro Max. Now for this next test, I am going to use the ProRes Log feature. And I'm going to correct it with just the basic Apple up. Here we have the S24 Ultra. Now moving over there to the 15 Pro Max. A lot more color depth. And just briefly, I wanna highlight the clouds here on the S24 Ultra. They're just pretty grayed out. But what was incredible is the 15 Pro Max pulled out some of the blue that actually was in the sky that day. Now moving back over to the S24 Ultra here. 
And once again, it shows how much Kodaks do matter. The ProRes does so well here. Now 60p slow motion, S24 Ultra, and there's that 15 Pro Max. Now for this next set, I'm gonna move back over to those buildings so we can see how well these cameras handle detail. Here we have a side-by-side, -side, the S24 Ultra there on the left in 8K, highest quality. But what's interesting is I do find even the 4K on the 15 Pro Max to look a little bit better there on the right. The 15 Pro Max does so well in video mode. And here with S24, 8K again. And the image stabilization is a little shakier there than the 15 Pro Max that has great colors and great image stabilization in this test. Back over to 8K, S24 Ultra. And now moving over to the 15 Pro Max. Yeah, here's the S24 Ultra, still in 8K, wanting to shoot in the highest quality. And here's that 15 Pro Max. The Samsung did do well though there. Side by side, both cameras here in 4K. A little bit more color depth there in the 15 Pro Max. Now here in cinematic mode, I think once again that the S24 Ultra just does not quite hold up to what the 15 Pro Max can do. And to conclude our video testing, we're gonna end in the studio, starting with the 15 Pro Max. And here I'm back in ProRes, a lot of color information there. Looks really good. And then moving back over to the S24 Ultra. So, my conclusion, the 15 Pro Max against the S24 Ultra. Both cameras did really well here. From looking at the testing, I think from photo, the optical zoom, and that 200 megapixel, it was outperforming the 15 Pro Max and a lot of the test, but where the 15 Pro Max still held on was the dynamic range, the auto HDR did really well, and the raw image processing in some of those photos, and especially in portrait mode, it held on to that highlight information a little bit better. Overall, both cameras did really well. Now, in video mode, I still think that 15 Pro Max, when you use Apple ProRes and that log video feature, if you take it into Resolve and you're coloring it, there's so much color information there. It outperforms this S24 Ultra just a little bit, but the AK video feature is nice and you do get a lot of detail there. I really wanna hear your thoughts. Make sure to leave a comment below, any questions that you might have. Also, make sure to like and subscribe. We have so much more content coming soon.